Good morning, everybody. It is a Thursday, April 20th, 2023. It is 6.55 in the morning. Okay, this is... What is this? This is part one, The Days of Our Flesh. Stephen Safima, The Inner Man, a Spiritual Vision. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Chapter 2, or er, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, Verse 18. Spiritual vision is nothing but the life of a man on earth in relation to eternity. A taking of a double look at man as a citizen of two worlds, the spiritual and physical world. Man, therefore, is a creature of double destinations, temporal and eternal. However, in this book, we shall put much emphasis on eternity, the final destination, destiny of man. Man is not merely a creature of time. There is within him that which transcends time. Man has forever. He needs to stand back from the time process and to discern the plan and pattern of the whole. But he is to Im be immersed into it to succeed without divine wisdom. The end and the beginning elude him. The tension between forever and today is the life of man cannot be completely resolved. Yet man can find forever in today by gratefully accepting the gifts of God and doing his commandments. Paul the Apostle in the above scripture calls upon us to change our perspective in life and begin finding forever in our today. In responding to this call of wisdom, we receive spiritual vision, a purpose or aim at the eternal goal. Without this awakened sense of eternal destiny, man gets an imbalance in life by pursuing physical visions. The fancied satisfaction of mammonism, which conceives a man's life as consisting in the abundance of the things which he possesses and identifies his state with his estate. He who is in correspondence with eternity can live in the present and enjoy the gifts of God without losing his focus. Okay, so that is all for, so this says part one, the days of our flesh. So part one, part one. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching.